Hello, I'm Dr. Alveda King, Director of African American Outreach for Priest for Life. I want to thank you for joining Priest for Life in this prayer vigil as we pray for the children who were aborted at the Kermit Gosnell Abortion Facility. We know that Dr. Gosnell has now been incarcerated and we are praying for him as well. We pray that our National Director, Father Frank Pavone, will one day have the opportunity to sit with Dr. Gosnell and perhaps even give him the ministry of the Centurion. This is a pro-life outreach that ministers to abortion providers and those who have been involved in the abortion industry. At this time, we do not know the state of Dr. Gosnell's heart, but if he is ready to talk and to receive prayer, we pray that that will happen. Today, we're praying for the babies. Forty-five babies, at least, remain there as far as their bodies are concerned with the medical examiner of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. And we know that these little babies who were aborted at Gosnell's House of Horrors, as it has been called, uh, have not received a decent burial. It is our prayer still that the medical examiner will see fit to give them and their families this dignity. And so we commend the babies and their families in prayer to God, and we thank you for praying with us. We have pursued every means that we can legally, definitely in prayer. And we thank you for praying with us on behalf of these little babies. Many of the babies have been named, and those especially who were named in the trial during Dr. Gosnell's trial. And so as we pray today, I, as Director of African American Outreach, thank you. I'm sure that everyone at Priest for Life thanks you. We have an extensive ministry. It's extended. Certainly the priest, the men of the cloth who minister the word of God to the people. Certainly that is the heart at Priest for Life. And yet we have outreach ministries as well. We have the healing ministries of Rachel's Vineyard and certainly the Centurions, which I have just men mentioned. We have outreach ministries, the Silent No More Awareness Campaign, where once men and women who regret their abortions, can seek not only the healing at Rachel's Vineyard, but can begin to speak out and say how God has touched and healed us. I say us because I also am post-abortive. And so that is one of our outreach ministries. We have a wonderful book through the Silent No More Awareness Cam Campaign by co-founder Janet Morana. And so Recall Abortion is the name of the book. And abortion is so harmful to so many lives and so many families like the little babies today that we are seeking to commemorate and give that dignity. But certainly there are many others who have been harmed by abortion. Many babies since 1973 legally have been aborted. Not morally right, but legally. Over 55 million. And I say we because I am post-abortive as well, and I am a national spokesperson for the Silent No More Awareness Campaign. I also head up African American Outreach. As the niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr., the daughter of his brother, Reverend A.D. King, my dear mother, still joins me in our pro-life ministry now in this century. Uh, you can find my testimony at www.AfricanAmericanOutreach.com. And so, again, there are so many opportunities for you to join us at Priest for Life, www.PriestForLife.org. And I thank you again for praying with us for the babies and their families. God bless you.